Yeah, so I was actually here at OU on Oklahoma's Promise. And my mom is a single mother. Her and my dad split when I was in the eighth grade. So she didn't really have any income from that year. So that's whenever we applied for it. Whenever it came time to like re-enroll for the semester, like that bill was expensive. Like my mom wasn't that prepared. She had even picked up a second job. I was working like almost 30 hours a week at a part-time job, just trying to like scrape any money I could together. But at the end of the day, me and my family just couldn't make it meet. Uh, it was just something that like, I never thought that bill was gonna be that big. I mean, as a college kid looking at $500 in your bank account, you see that you gotta pay like five and a half grand. I mean, that was a lot and that was just something that I couldn't do. So I had to go get a student loan so I could help pay off some of that school. So freshman housing was pretty expensive. Whenever I was there, it was 10 grand a month a semester. Now that I don't go to school anymore, I live in an apartment in downtown OKC. It's about 605 a month there. And that still rounds out to less than what it would be to like live in freshman student housing. So yeah, I mean, the cost of living at OU was just crazy compared to what it is to, I mean, live downtown Oklahoma City. It's not like I was hanging out somewhere where I shouldn't be. And so when I left school, I had to take out a couple student loans just to help like make it me. I mean, I was getting emailed and letters sent to my house every day from the admission office, just like about collections. I was on the phone with my parents every day, like, you know, like, hey, what can I do? What are the steps I need to take? So I had to get with my mom and we had to take out a little loan just so I could pay off some of the school. And that's even as an in-state student.